Hey guys, Fanta here, and uh, I'm gonna visit a song that my bestie that passed away um, almost two weeks ago used to play all the time. I did Blue October, Hate Me, but he would play that one and this one constantly. And uh, as you read there in the beginning that the person in the song loved the girl so much and all he wanted to was just to have a little bit of her love returned um, but in the end found out that she didn't feel that way about him um kind of my life story here <laughs> oh when i first met shane yeah we we dated we were a couple but then we were separated for so long and but when we got back together he was my best friend, and I realized he's my best friend my whole life, you know? And for the few years that we had before he passed, I told him everything on, that happened in those years that we were apart, and he told me. And But at that point, I didn't look at him as a love interest. You know what I'm saying? Not a romantic relationship. He was my best friend, my soulmate. <laughs> You know, but he played this song so much and I just wanted to make a video for him, for myself and for anybody that that wants to listen. So we'll start the song and we will, you know, break it down into three clips, I believe. But let's get started. I miss you, Shane. This is Breaking Benjamin with The Diary of Jane. Okay, from that first verse, I get, uh, put myself right beside you. Would you like that in her suffering? Um, in her, uh, point of blackness and sadness? Would he, would he suffer that for her? To make her happy? To try any way that he could? To become more in her life? Hmm. A lot of things are becoming more clear as I listen to this over and over. Here we go.
Again, he would suffer just to make her happy. If that's what it took. And there's a fine line between love and hate. I think that he loved her so much, but he hated himself for it. Because deep down he knew that they'd be n nothing more than friends. Um, I was told once by our other really good friend that uh, Shane had made the comment years after we were separated that I was the one that got away. And now I'm kind of thinking... It's the other way around. He says, desperate I will crawl, waiting for so long, there is no love. Desperately trying to show her how he feels and getting nowhere with it. God, and something's about to break. Oh my God, that's just terrible. Oh, such a good song. Um, but yeah, every time I hear it, I'll think of him. Yeah, I just hope he knows that I love him and I miss him. I'm sorry. Um, you know, Johnny Depp once said that his, your body is like a journal and the tattoos that you get on your body mark moments in your life, you know, of happiness, sadness. In between, or just something you really felt passionate about. And before, um, a couple years ago when we thought we were going to lose him, I got Sookie tattooed on my neck. Um, because he called me Sookie from True Blood. And the S and the K are his initials. And the two, zip, the two O's were the bite, and then I-E, I-E at the end. Um. But I tell you now, there will be one last entry into my journal that is my body for Shane. And that is this that you're looking at right now. Um, that is a printout of his last heartbeat. And that will go over my heart. So I hope he knows that. I hope he sees it. <laughs> Um, but thank you for sticking with me through this video. I know it's kind of a downer, but <sighs> like I said, I've, I'm trying to deal with it, and uh, this helps. Music has always helped me, and especially in songs that meant something to him, and it means something to me. I always loved the song. I just never realized how much it meant to him till it was too late, <laughs> so... Tell the people you love that you love them. Even the people you don't like. I don't even like you, but hey, whatever. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. But thank you so much for sticking with me um, through this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.